So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Mercury in the ninth house of your Dasamsa chart. As in what happens when Mercury is in the ninth house of your D10 Dasamsa chart, which is one of the most important charts in Vedic astrology related to your obligation to society, your career, your reputation, uh, all the details of how your Kind of like your work takes place in the world you know and as always if you do not know if you have this particular position what sign it's in what its placement in the birth chart along with all your astrological details for that check out the links here check out my full astrological report including my books consultations and link to my academy manga vedic astrology academy where you'll find all my courses and including my latest course Jaradasha that you can log in and sign on and view all the lessons so Mercury in the ninth house so ninth house is what mentors managers counselors advisors travels publishing long distance travels okay um, it can even represent loss of jobs ninth house why because it's 12th from the 10th house of your career, your job, your reputation. So Mercury is sitting there. So Mercury, first of all, it shows. Because the very first essence of Mercury is that it's multiplicity. So naturally, one will have multiple mentors in life, multiple gurus in life. Okay. Um, it can show multiple job changes in life. And then Mercury also represents youth, somebody who's young. So you will see sometimes your mentors, teachers, advisors, counselors in life will actually be younger in age with you or they'll be very youthful in their personality. In their attitude in their work like you'll feel like you're working with a friend instead of like some hard knock hard-headed boss and these are the people with this mercury shows that you always tend to get bosses who will you know will joke around with you will kind of be your friend they will feel like more like a colleague than a mentor or teacher or somebody who's there to dic dictate things because Mercury's naturally in the ninth house aspects, the third house of co-workers. So it influences the co-workers from the ninth house. And what this also shows is that your co-workers as well end up becoming your mentors. But on the contrary, what also happens is that you as an individual, you will always will be curious to teach people, counsel people, advise people. Like you're always going to be there to teach something to someone. They may even like put you in a position of training the new hires at one point. Especially on your way up in the corporate ladder. Now, of course, you know, if you're an actor, you're not going to start teaching other people how to act. But what happens is you will mentor other actors on the set. You know, and this is why this is also a great position of a person who wants to be an astrologer, psychologist. They're curious about people's information through which then they can counsel. And they love writing. They love to write at work. Whether it's text messages, emails, board posts, for them, communication becomes the key, but especially through the source of publishing it. Like here, I've written this article on this problems you guys told me last week. So I wrote an article so everybody can see and s uh, how I've solved this issue. You know, so if the malefic impact is not there, this is a very affable mercury to deal with it naturally even represents luck through traveling 
one will enjoy work that requires short distance travel, long distance travel. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mercury in the ninth house of your Dasamta chart. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. So you don't miss this type of videos. If you want to know where your uh, Mercury is placed along with all your astrological details for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.